What is up everyone? Welcome to a game week 37 FPL challenge draft. My name is Ryan from the Football Chat Box. Hope you're doing well. And let's get straight into my FPL challenge draft for this week. And it's basically single game week clubs get double points. So basically everyone literally gets double points because there's a double game week also happening. So we're going to go and pick what I think is probably the best options. Um, at least for me with a bit of like differentials here and there. So in goal, I've got uh, David Dreyer. Um, if Bruno Fernandes is not available, then I think that just the chances of Manchester United actually scoring a goal is going to be low. But I'll have to wait and see in terms of that because press conferences we haven't. It hasn't been recorded at the time of me recording this video. Uh, sorry, press conferences haven't been had at the time of me recording. So I'm assuming Bruno is still not yet fit, but we'll see. As you can see, I've got two Arsenal shirts and a City shirt. Basically, I've gone for Gabriel and White and also Guardiol as the other option. Uh, if Arsenal, like again, same thing with Bruno. If Bruno is out, chances of scoring goal very low. Gabriel and White have really good uh, chances of keeping a clean sheet. Also add to that, United are... I think the worst in set pieces, I'm not sure whether that was the last six game weeks or not, but they were the worst in set pieces from a stat I saw, which increases the chances of like attacking returns as well from both Gabriel and White. And Guardiol has probably the highest chances of keeping a clean sheet in one of the games and also very attacking as well. So that's my defense. But I do have a couple subs as well, which we will get to. In goal, I've sorry, in midfield, I've gone for a five-man midfield of Foden, Gordon, Richarlison, Palmer, and Bowen. Uh, Bowen, West Ham's last game at home under Moyes against Luton. Luton definitely need to go out there and try and win this game. So they'll be attacking as well. So maybe it might play into the hands of West Ham and Bowen being able to like hit the uh, hit on the counter. He did hit the post a couple of times in the last game as well. So maybe might be a good op option. Uh, Palmer because Penn's double game week not against uh, the team's playing are also not too bad. Richarlison is in there. Big question mark to see whether he'll be fit or not. So we kind of have to wait and see with regards to that. But if he's fit and plays the Burnley game, would be a really good game for him. Anthony Gordon because two games at home, uh, Newcastle uh, amazing, and then away against United, pretty good game for him as well attacking wise. And then Phil Foden because probably the best City midfielder. Uh, out of the pick, so Phil Foden up there. And up front, I've gone for a two-man striker with Haaland and Isaac. I don't think there needs to be anything said about these two given their form and um, pictures. Now, on my bench, I've got Pickford, Mateta, Branthwaite and Munoz. Now, obviously, Everton play first before Arsenal, as you can uh, see. So the idea would be if Pickford and Brantford manage to keep clean sheets, I will sub them on for uh, the Arsenal goalkeeper and maybe remove remove Ben White probably for Brantford. And if the same thing happens to Munoz as well, where Munoz is Munoz managed to keep, manage, manages to keep a clean sheet and also maybe gets an attacking return, Gabriel will also most likely come off. Um, and then obviously Mateta is in there as well. The Mateta pick, I would ideally like to be able to get Callum Wilson in instead. Uh, for the moment, I just don't know whether Wilson is fit. Obviously, have to wait and see with regards to press conference news. If he is fit, I would like to find a way to kind of fit him in. So I'll have to wait and see like how actually I'm going to do it. I'm not really sure. Um... So I'll see. If if he's fit, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll have to downgrade Ben White to someone else. Maybe a Tommy Asu. Probably downgrade Ben White to Tommy Asu and see if I can fit um, Callum Wilson in there, which should give me enough because I have 1.2. Callum Wilson is about 7.8, if I'm not mistaken. So 5.3, 6.3. Yeah, it should give me just enough, I think, if I go to Tommy Asu. Maybe. Uh, so I should be fine. So we'll see. That's basically it. Let me know what you think about this draft uh, and what your FPL challenge draft is also looking like. Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. If you reached up to this point, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well as we're looking to get towards 800 subscribers. But first, can we get to 750 before the end of the season? Do hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll be live tomorrow for the deadline stream. Two hours before the deadline, maybe two and a half hours before the deadline. Uh, we will have a look and see, but I'll be live tomorrow. Make sure to uh, join that for that as well. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.